Hey guys, today I want to talk about the benefits of the behind the back deadlift and why you should be incorporating it into your workout program. So number one, what you have to understand is that the behind the back deadlift will build your conventional deadlift to a tremendous degree. In fact, what it does specifically is build leg drive off the floor, okay? Because of the fact that the bar is behind you, it creates a more acute knee angle, which causes you to push them over the quads. So it's very similar to a deficit deadlift, but you don't have to increase the range of motion. So that's very beneficial because I know a lot of guys, they can't do deficit deadlifts, it hurts their back because of the really deep range of motion. So the behind the back deadlift is a good fix for that. Then also what's so amazing about it is that you can round your back like a motherfucker. You're never gonna feel pain in that region. I can literally, I could round my back so hard like a banana. You feel nothing in the lower back, nothing, because the weight is behind you. That's what's so beautiful about this movement. All you're gonna feel is your lower traps, and mid upper back for the most part, okay? And the next day, you're gonna be sore like right there, right in the lower area, you know, and it's it's fantastic. You don't, you can just, you can basically, you can pull off the floor without any consequences. And that's something that the conventional deadlift is a bit harder, you know, because if you're going really, really heavy on conventional deadlifts, you tend to feel your spinal rectus a little bit, but with behind the back deadlift, completely cuts out the problem. So it's a builder that will increase your leg drive, which is very beneficial. You don't have to do deficit deadlifts, all right? And then uh, as I mentioned before, they're actually gonna build your quads. Now you see, I knew many years about behind the back deadlift because of Steve Reeves. He used a hack squat. That's uh, behind the back deadlift is basically a hack squat, right? And Steve Reeves would do it to build his quads. The result is that you get these nice squats, but your posterior chain does not hypertrophy as much. So for those of you who can't squat for whatever reason, or you want an accessory movement to add into your program, and maybe you don't wanna do conventional deadlifts because you don't want the extra posterior chain, you're going for that old school look, then the behind the back deadlift is a very good option for you. You can hit your quads. It's the only deadlifting variation that I know of that can actually facilitate this. So it's a very, very unique in that regard. So essentially what you're getting is this. You're getting a lower trap to mid back builder and a quad builder. Is this not the perfect exercise for people who want that old school look? It's not gonna give you like huge upper traps. It's just gonna give you development in the middle of your back and it's gonna give you the quads and no, no spinal rectal pain. Fantastic. So. That's, uh, that's really why it's such a great movement you should be doing in your routine. And the reason why I'm advocating again is because I've been watching a lot of Eric Bugenhagen. Fucking love that guy, man. He's helped me out a lot with my training. Through watching these videos, I become more motivated. And whenever I see him do those behind the back deadlifts, like, fuck, I want to lift too. So, you know, yesterday I went to the gym. I was supposed to do my uh, deadlift with the mini bands, two minis. But I said, fuck it. Let's do behind the back. And I pulled five plates, man. And I was super happy with that. And uh, it's amazing because you you can lift less on the behind the back, but when you increase the strength on it, it raises your conventional because the leg drive benefits. So like I said, for those who are weak at the bottom of the pole, start doing this exercise. Now, I know Louis Simmons used to advocate as well. If you look at his podcast, he says uh, there was a guy who came to his gym. He used to always do behind the back. You do it 600 pounds and in competition, you'd pull 700. So for some people, it's going to be a lot less than in a conventional. Other people, you're going to have good leverages like Eric Bugenhagen. You'll be able to do more than what you could do normally. But uh, either way, it's a good uh, strengthener for powerlifting purposes off the floor. And it's good for old school bodybuilding. Either way, you cannot lose. So I say add it to your routine and reap the benefits. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below. What's the most you ever pulled behind the back style? And uh, that's it.